Good evening. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I hope you are doing well today. Uh, today we've got a special, uh, special event. Uh, I'm going to play two games uh, against Stepan from Croatia. Uh, he is he's, uh, he's also a YouTuber and he has got a YouTube channel called Hanging Ponds, like his nickname. So <laughs> you can visit 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 him, right? Uh, he's playing chess like two years, and he crossed eighteen hundred. So 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 he's doing pretty good. And today we are going to play two games, fifteen minutes pl plus five seconds. And I hope that it's gonna be there's gonna be a, two good games today, and and you will see some really nice ideas today. Okay, so we, we already started, uh, we already made the first move uh, and we've got the French defense. <laughs> what a surprise. Hello Kruzi, uh, hello uh, Cetpova, nice to see you today. Okay, d4. d5. We've got a queen, uh, French defense of course. Uh, my opponent choose knight d2. Uh, that line is called Taraj variation. And now black has got a couple different moves. Hello, prostitutius. Nice to see you. Uh, couple different moves. Of course, there is a c5 move. Uh, and black has got position with an isolated pawn. This is, this is one. I think this is the main line. Another move is knight f6. This is actually my favorite line, and and um, the idea is later white plays e5, and later uh, knight goes back to d7, and later black is attacking central pawns via c5 and f6, and of course there is also uh, there is also d captures e4, which is called Rubinstein variation. Okay, I'm just really wondering which one should I choose today. Mm, okay, let's maybe play c5. Let's maybe follow the main line here. <laughs> Hello, Strzelec. Yeah, Kruzi, uh <laughs> Yeah, you, ca you can see that you are a pawn from today, so... <laughs> okay, e captures, pawn captures, d5. You can see that I will have an isolated pawn here in that position. <clears throat> okay, knight f3. And here black has got two main plans. Main move usually is knight c6, and then idea is to develop that knight to e7. I mean firstly bishop d6 of course, and then knight e7 and position like that. But another second second idea that I usually prefer is plan with knight f6. Because I've got a feeling that with an isolated pawn, better is to keep I mean, you need to keep your minor pieces very active. So, uh, knight f f6, bishop at that diagonal is very good. So, because with an isolated pawn, you've got a plan to attack with your minor pieces. Our second plan is, of course, to um, second plan that you you've got when you've got an isolated pawn is, of course, to push that pawn forward. Okay, bishop b5, bishop goes to d7. Okay, knight captures, of course, and now castling is the. This is the main move. Okay, and bishop goes to bishop goes to e7. Hello, Ravi. <laughs> Thank you. Main move in that position is uh, d captures c5. This is this is the main move that white white usually uh, plays d captures d captures c5. Good evening zb. Hello. Okay, pawn captures c5. I capture if I capture with a bishop, of course there is rook e1 because my king is still in the center, so I need to play knight c5.
Good evening, Karmar. Nice to see you. Okay, knight b3. Uh, white's idea, white is playing against an isolated pawn. So, of course, white, need, need, white has got two ideas also. Like, like black has got also two. So, white has got also two ideas. First idea is to block that isolated pawn. So, you can see that two knights and queen, uh, a lot of pieces uh, blo block that, that isolated pawn. So, this is first thing. And second thing, trade pieces, especially minor pieces. So, you can see that here we've got the first offer but I'm gonna refuse that offer and I'm gonna play knight e4. Knight at e4 is really good, it, it is really active, it attacks a lot of squares and what is another important thing is that take a look, take a look at these three pieces, they are protecting each other in very good way. I mean, I, especially I like it, so... <laughs> yeah, okay, strelets, I, I, ne I never heard something like that, but <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay, knight d4. Mm, I think that main move in that position is knight f goes to d4, because in this position, very important is f5 square. This is, this is very important square, and I cannot uh, let his knight move there because that knight can exchange my bishop, for example, uh, and it's not, it's not that good, right? So uh, I need to, usually knight from f goes to, to d4, uh, I need to take control over f5 with my queen, but queen d7 is maybe not that good because knight goes to e5, so I need to probably play queen c8. Yes, hello, Kure Angel. Uh, yes, <laughs> today we've got the English. Uh, Polish stream will take place on Friday at 7, uh, 7 p.m. No, in English, you, you can check, you can check uh, my schedule uh, and you will see that Polish stream is always on Friday at 7 p.m. But usually, usually every day it's, it's English. Okay, my opponent played c3. What's the idea or what's the, what's the purpose of that move? Uh, of course, it supports a very good knight at d4. So this is one idea. And what should I do with this? I think that first thing I need to do, because you can see that my queen still controls f5, so I've got the time to make castle. Because this is, this is an important thing that I cannot, I cannot forget about it. Okay, and now I need to start thinking, how can I attack? Should I attack? Okay, now I see, and I think that this is quite clear for everyone, that it's not so easy to push my pawn, right? My isolated pawn, because you can see that his defense is, is very good here. So it's not gonna be very easy to, to push that pawn. So I can, I can, I can forget about that plan. Uh, but what I can do, I think I can start an, some kind of attack with my, with my pieces. But how should I do that? Maybe I should activate my rook, rook e8. Then very common move is playing a5. Not only, it not only threats a4, but it also uh, let move rook a6. And that rook, rook from a6 has got a plenty of different possibilities. And I can also move my bishop, for example, bishop d6. You see, maybe maybe bishop d6 first is a good idea because it blocks bishop f4. Yeah, so maybe maybe I will try to do this move first. Let's start from, from that move. <laughs> uh, Okay, Karmar, uh, <laughs> I promise you to play one Karokan, at least one Karokan. You know, now I started, I started with a French because you know that I'm more uh, fluent in French defense. So this is why I decided, but, but of course, 
I can play next game with black against e4, I can play Karakan. Okay, rook e1. Rook is on the, of course, important open file, e, but take a look. It also uh, makes that pawn at f2 weaker. So that might be a good idea for me to use that fact later. Okay, what should I do? Okay, maybe, maybe a5, right? Pushing, I can push that pawn forward and I can move rook a6. So two ideas, two in one. Okay, a4. Of course, a4 blocks mm, blocks my, my pawn, but now I can move rook a6, I think. Hope that this is a good idea. Later, maybe bishop goes to b8, uh, queen c7, maybe I can checkmate him on h2. Another thing is that now I think that queen c4 appears, that idea. And it looks, yeah, queen at c4 right now looks quite good because he cannot play b3 because c3 pawn is very weak. Okay, knight b, uh, hello, uh, hello, L, your big boss. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I will see. Now I, I, I haven't planned any tournament, but maybe, maybe, maybe in the close future we can, we can do some. Okay, knight b5. Of course, he's trying to capture my bishop. I need to move back. So bishop goes to b8. Okay, bishop b8 looks good. Yeah, okay, and also my rook has got a, you know, place to... My rook is free to go, right? Of course that I've got knight at f6 still, so it's not that not that easy. Uh, ZB. Mm. <laughs> I think that, I mean, Vinaver, black usually chooses Vinaver, right? So that's the, that's the difference, but I think that the best is knight c3. This is the most complicated and, and you need to learn a lot of a lot of things. But I think that the best answer against against French defense is knight c3 in the move number three. And you of course need to know how to play that, because this is also not that easy. Uh, okay, now let's try to find a way. How can I create that attack, right? Because I'm just talking about this attack on the queen's king side or something. How can I do that? I've got one idea, maybe I can play knight h5, later rook g6, knight f4, something like that. Uh, because after, when my rook is on the g6, also h3 is hanging, because pawn at g2 is pinned. So it, I think it would be a nice idea, but firstly, I need to defend my d5 pawn. So maybe rook goes to d8, defending d5 pawn, and it prepares knight h5. Yeah, idea is knight h5, because you can see that knight is here, so I cannot move queen c7, That I, I cannot do that idea. Okay, bishop e5, is it the right time for me to move knight h5 or not? Better check twice, but okay, why not? I'm just checking, can he do some kind of, uh, some kind of discovered things? but I do not see any. Maybe just knight d2, maybe knight d2, but this is the only the only thing. Another idea is that comes into my mind is maybe queen f5. Bring queen closer to the to the king side. Yeah, maybe queen f5 before knight h5. Okay, knight h5, knight d2, and knight is hanging. If I play knight f4, knight captures e4, pawn captures e4. Yeah, it looks a little bit risky. Or maybe I can play, okay, one, 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 one thing more. Maybe knight h5, knight d2, and then queen f5. 
I know that there is a G4 move. May it may be. Should but should I be afraid of G4? Queen F4. Even if I if I lose that, Queen H2, King F1. Hmm. Okay, this is this is a really good question. Uh, okay, Knight H5 or not? Because that was that was my idea. Okay, I know that we are playing 15 plus 5, but <laughs> my time is not that good. Okay, what should I do here? You see, I've got a feel this is only intuition, but I've got a feeling that better is to bring my but is it better? Intuition says queen f5, but you know <laughs> but but according to the lines I feel knight h5. Okay, let's play knight h5. Let's 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 do that this way. Okay, let me calculate knight e5 move. Knight f4. Queen g4. Okay. Let's let's play. Intuition says uh queen f5, let's do that. Hello Artur Navro, good evening. Uh Strzelec, Bishop D3, I don't believe in moves like that. Hello Nanuka. I'm just reading your question. Uh <laughs> yeah, sometimes so I think that sometimes ev ev everyone gets confused, right? Uh <laughs> sometimes, right? But if you know how to think properly, if you know how should you look for the, the best plan. Uh, I think it is. Uh, I th I think that it gives you uh, a lot of. Um, it's much easier for you to find the best answer in critical moments, right? And 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 I even prepared some kind of ebook that you can download that ebook on my website. So so if you uh, you just need to go to my website www.madbobula.com and and you can download that ebook. Uh, how to create a plan in the middle game. Bishop d3? Is it, is it Schlechter variation? I don't know. I know only Schlechter on, on, in Slav defense. <laughs> this is the only Schlechter that I know. Okay, let's see. My opponent is is thinking. What can he do right now? Maybe knight d2 is a good move. Yeah, but knight d2, take a look. Queen goes to f4 and knight at d2 is under attack and queen h2 is a big idea. I mean big threat. Okay, rook e2. Very, very... Uh, I mean, he's trying to defend somehow, right? It looks that rook at e2 defends f2 pawn, uh, but okay, maybe can I can I play knight h5 or not? This is a very good question. I'm not afraid of g4 anymore because that knight is hanging at f3. Okay, let's go knight h5. Why not? That was my plan basically, and then I can bring my rook later, and I like my position more and more. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Today I'm playing against hanging pawns. Uh, <laughs> do you know him, Karmar? Yeah, I've got an isolated pawn against hanging pawns. What is better? Ah, okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs> You can you can check you can check his YouTube channel. I think it, the, uh, there is a lot of uh, good uh, good good things to see, right?
Yeah, I mean, you can play ZB Bishop D3 if you like to. <laughs> I just, I mean, it never, I mean, we are talking about Bishop D3 against French in the move number three. But I think, I don't know, maybe even C5 and black, black is good, right? Without any, you know, bigger problems. Yeah, cause cause uh, hanging pawns or or Stepan, right? Uh, he's he's on his way to to become a grandmaster, and 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 he's publishing right a channel for uh, players who wants to improve channel, but by 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 someone who is improving, right? <laughs> who is on this road to become a GM? Okay, Bishop Ifri, what is the idea? Of course, probably the idea is to defend f4 square and spare. It spares also uh, square at d4, which is uh, knight probably can go there. But the good question is, can I move rook g6? You see, this is the first move that comes into my mind right now, rook g6. And take a look. There is one threat. Another threat is to capture at h3. And how is he going to respond to these threats? Okay. Okay, one second, one second, because <laughs> better check twice, because now I realized that there is knight h4 move. You see, easy tactics, but uh, easy to miss, right? So, um, okay, so rook g6, knight h4, queen captures h3, knight captures g6, queen h2, checkmate, okay. I mean, king f1, uh, yeah, and then and then checkmate, okay, so I can I can do that. Hello Darius, good evening. Nice to see you. Ah, in nine, in nine years, right? So <laughs> I think it is very, uh, I mean, good that he, he planned that, right? But, but, but it's not so easy to, you cannot always plan, I mean, becoming a GM, right? Because, uh, you need to do, you know, free GM norms, right? You need to play in the right tournaments. So, uh, but of course, it is possible, right? If someone, uh, if someone can work on chess every day, couple hours, of course, it is possible. Okay, knight d4. But now take a look. I've got too many pieces on my king side right now. Take a look. My knights are very good, right? Uh, queen, rook, bishop. Maybe everything except maybe rook at d8 is attacking. So queen h3 is coming. It has to it has to be end. Yeah, he's I think uh, 1860 or something like this. Ah okay, so you know him. <laughs> so you know him Karmar. <laughs> Good. Okay, and of course there is a threat. Uh, queen captures g2. My knight is coming, right, at, at, at f4. If he plays queen f1, I think I can play... Ah, okay, bishop, knight at f3 is not hanging, because there is another knight. But I just do not believe that it's not a checkmate. There has to be. Okay, what should I do? I've got only four minutes, so better is to prepare um, fast answer. What am I going to do if he plays queen f1? Okay, what are my moves candidates? Uh, knight f4, first move that comes into my mind. What else? Knight g3, no, it's, it's not gonna work. Yeah, but that knight f4 looks good. Knight f4, bishop captures, my bishop captures. Yeah, but maybe, maybe he can defend somehow. From being checkmated, of course. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, I won by resignation. Okay. Am I am I missing something? Uh, okay. Let's 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 analyze that after after rematch maybe. After rematch, but I think Queen F1. Maybe I'm missing something. But I think that after Queen F1, still is possible to play here. Okay. Let's 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 see. C4. Okay, we've got a we've got a queen's gambit right now. Yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe my isolated pawn scarred hanging pawns, right? <laughs> okay, and we've got a slav defense, and I usually play e3, which is called uh, Merano, right? Like the city in Italy. And as Cruzzi said, uh, Rubinstein first played it, right? So. <laughs> Our opening expert, Cruzzi. Uh, okay, knight d7, and let's play the main move, bishop, bishop d3. Okay, pawn captures, bishop captures, b5, bishop d3. Okay, a6. Uh, honestly, I'm a little bit afraid uh, to get into the lines. I mean to get into the sharp lines that that usually happens here because uh I mean he's playing now he's improving his his he knows the fresh theory right because this theory of openings is changing uh, very fast right so I've got good theory my theory of openings w w was good like 10 years ago maybe right so <laughs> so I'm a little bit scared but okay I will try and let's let's see how it goes yeah, bishop d3 is main move in that position. Queen c2 is another second main move. Okay, c5, and I usually, I remember I played e5. Let's see. Another main move in that position is d5. Okay, c captures d5, and I play here knight b5. This is still the line, and now main move is knight captures e5. But I mean, when I play, because I'm also I also play that as a black, and I capture knight e5. But if he captures at b5, I need to capture at f6, of course. Okay. Um, no bishop b3. Ah, no, no, no. I mean bishop b3. No, bishop d3 is the main move. Nanuka. Okay, g captures. Okay. Take a look at this position. I'm down a pawn, right? I'm down a pawn, but um, yeah, take a look. His his pawns are not that good, right? That pawn is is hanging. That pawn is hanging. Uh, he has got double pawns right here. So now, I think that the best thing what I'm going to do is to make a castle, then move queen e2 because it attacks that pawn, and then bishop f4 and bishop g3. Because I remember I lost a couple games because my opponent played rook g8 and he just with connected with bishop from b7 attacking g2. And yeah, I just lost a couple games. So I would rather avoid that kind of problems. So castling queen e2, bishop f4, bishop g3. And later I will think of that. How can I take that pawn back? Yeah, I mean, white definitely has got a com compensation. Uh, white definitely has got a compensation, but um, but uh, but I think that this is still a theory, right? So that's the uh, that's the that's the problem. Okay, bishop goes to f4. Okay, better check bishop f4 or not. Yeah, bishop f4 according to my uh, to my first idea, and then bishop goes to g3.
yeah maybe too many hanging pawns in that position but you remember that pawn pawn's advantage is still uh yeah it's pawn is still a pawn so uh Uh, okay, let me let me check uh, the chat. Commander, uh, Commander, we can play a game, but after that game, I'm gonna analyze these games, right? And after this analyze, we can play a game. If you can, if you if you send me a challenge. Yeah, b5, Shiva, b5. It was a little bit too risky, in my opinion, to capture that pawn. Uh, this is why. Uh, this is why um, I didn't want to do that, right? Because I want to make a castle and I want to make keep my king safe in that position. Uh, yeah, and there is another thing, queen a5, as Nanuka says. Uh, yeah, I like my position. I played it a couple times. Always when when my when I can play bishop g3, it's quite good in my opinion. Uh, okay, I see a lot of ideas. Rook c1 or queen e4. Uh, what's what's the purpose of playing queen e4? Bishop goes to b7, nothing happens. Queen e4 makes sense if he makes castling, right? Because it's a fork. Of course, uh, yeah. Rook c1 is, is another idea. But honestly, I would rather play bishop, uh, bishop g3. To keep it safe. Yeah, okay, bishop, bishop, bishop goes to g3. I want to keep my king safe, and later I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna attack. Uh, commander, I see your, I see your uh, challenge. After analyze, uh, after my analysis of these two games, we can. Uh, we, we we can play. You are the first in the queue. Okay, bishop b7, and now we've got an an important important moment, an important time in that position. He cannot he cannot castle, uh, commander. We do not uh, do not post links here. If you can if you can cruzi or or strelitz, if you can. Uh, Okay, one second. Uh, bishop b7. I need to I need to concentrate in that position because this is very risky uh, thing. Okay, what should I do? Maybe rook goes to d1, not rook e1, but rook d1. Another idea. But yeah, what 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 happens later? Okay, I've got a, I've got an idea here. Uh, rook goes to d1, and later I'm gonna play bishop e4. Because you know, I really want to take that pawn back. So rook d1 attacks d4, and bishop at e4 trades down that very good bishop at b7. Maybe let's try let's try to do that this way. And take a look, bishop from g6 not only defends my king at the g file, it also uh, protects f to pawn in case in you know in in case that after bishop e3 he plays d3 or something like that. So my king is quite safe. Hello, Megash. Uh, knight h4, what's the idea? I do not see any idea with knight h4. N moreover, knights on the rook files are not that good. Uh, and commander, about your challenge, please send me 10 minutes, okay? Because <laughs> now I'm just playing this, this 10 minutes without any increment. Because only these two games I'm gonna play this five for 15 plus 5. And you see bishop e4. He cannot make castle. That's the problem, right? Usually black plays rook g8 and trying to attack here, but with my bishop at g3, my, my castle is very solid. Castling is a suicide here. It's it's I, I will checkmate him. So he cannot do that. This is the reason why I usually play at the beginning, I usually play 
knight e5 instead of instead of capturing at b5. Uh, okay, knight h4, knight f5. Okay, interesting idea, but what's the what's the purpose, right? I I played this this rook d1 because my my target is d4 pawn, right? I want to move here. I want to take that pawn back. I'm down a pawn. I don't like to be be down on the material. I usually prefer, you know, to capture something and then defend, right? <laughs> so. Okay, king goes to e7. Okay, king remains in the center. And now, uh, I think that, Nanuka, your idea, knight h4, knight a5, makes more sense now, because king is at e7. So it's gonna be a check. So this is one idea, but... Okay, but, but okay, knight f5, what, what, what's that? He, he moves back or something. Yeah, but I really like that idea of playing that, that bishop e4. I don't know why. Uh, bishop e4 and, and how is he going to defend that d4 pawn? Okay, let's try and let's see. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem that knight f5, okay, it's a check, right? But yeah, okay, bishop e4, bishop a6. So we've got a position is uh, sharper, more and more complicated. What should I do here? A rook is hanging, but my queen also is under attack. Definitely, it doesn't make much sense to move my bishop back. I need to move my queen. Queen at c2, I think it's not the best choice because rook c8 and we've got an x-ray here. So first choice, yeah, looks like queen goes to d2 is better to me. You know, I, 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 I prefer to check all the possibilities, but queen d2 looks good. Should I be afraid of, I don't know, rook d8? Knight captures d4. I know that it looks, looks strange, but I think I, I, I can manage that. Okay, queen goes to d2, and let's see. Yeah, so <laughs> so you see, uh, maybe in blitz it's better idea this this, but but you know in blitz you usually play blitz players usually use simple ideas, right? And and now I'm just playing this 15 plus plus five because I'm trying to think a little bit deeper here in that position. Uh, Shiva queen c2. I don't like queen c2 because rook goes to c8, right? And and there is a x-ray. Okay, now, good question. Can I capture at d4 or not? Looks very risky, but can I do that? Okay, knight, let's calculate. We just need to calculate that. Okay, knight captures d4. Of course, if bishop captures, uh, yeah, knight, queen captures, Queen captures, rook captures, and b4 is hanging. And I think I'm good. Yeah, so 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 bishop d4, no doubt, is not a good idea. But what happens if he moves knight? He can move his knight to three squares. e5, f8, and b8. We need to consider all four. All three. Knight d4. Okay, let's say knight e5. I think I can capture bishop e5. Pawn captures e5 and knight goes to c6 with a check. I know that my queen is hanging, but king, I mean, if he captures rook at, if he captures, sorry, my knight at c6, bishop captures c6, and I will be, if he captures my queen, I'll be up an exchange. So knight e5, I'm not worried about this move. About knight f8 is the same, knight c6, and I'm doing well. But the question is, what happens after knight b8? Because I cannot do knight c6 move, because knight from b8 controls that square. So what should I do here? Hmm. Maybe bishop captures b8. Uh, this, is, this is one idea. But then I'm a little bit afraid that he has got an opportunity to play rook d4 in between move. And my, I need to move my queen and, and then bishop is hanging there. 
okay so it looks risky so knight so knight d4 knight b8 okay just give me one more uh, check maybe there is something else what else can i do uh, i'm just even thinking about the moves like uh hello mervold good evening yeah this is this is very important i think this is one critical moment in that position right now i'm also thinking about knight f5 moves but it doesn't doesn't work hmm. okay what should i do here this is a good question you know in the worst case uh, <laughs> i can always move rook c1 right <laughs> if i do not do not see anything you know special rook c y rook c1 and rook a to c1 of course and he needs to uh, <laughs> and he needs to think what to do mm -hmm. okay what what else can i do okay probably looks that if you don't know what to play bring another piece to to the game so i will tr i will follow that principle and let's see Yeah, you know, usually when you are sacrificing something and you are not sure, not certain for 100% for that it's going to work, I recommend I, I recommend you not to do that suck, right? Because <laughs> this is too risky. When I'm sacrificing, I usually, I'm usually certain, right, that I can win something or checkmate my opponent. uh hanging pawns i think he's he's not live he's not streaming live but uh but 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 he will probably prepare some uh yeah i mean i mean he will prepare some kind of um uh, episode right at, at his channel and he will compare his thinking to mine thinking right this is this is why i'm just trying to you know describe you uh my thoughts during the game right and 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 you so so please subscribe this hanging ponds and and channel and 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 wait for the <laughs> for the episode right that you can compare uh his way of thinking and my way of thinking from the both sides okay e5 take a look he's defending d4 pawn he decides to defend that but now you can see that his light squares it's a it's a disaster light squares you can see uh no, I just don't believe that that e5 is gonna work. Especially, I've got a bishop at e4, f5. Okay, right now, uh, first move that comes into my mind. Hope that's good, right? And knight is going to f5. Weak squares are weak. Light squares is a. Okay, it, it's gotta be good for me. I don't believe in things like this. That 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 e5 can be a good idea. Uh, Bednarski David, I really like my position. I'm down a pawn, but 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 I think I'm 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 good, especially after knight h4 after e5. <laughs> yeah, Ravi, you're right. He he will upload later on YouTube, so so please subscribe and you will see that. Yeah, I know that my time is not that good as usual, right? So, <laughs> yeah, I get used to that, right? That my time is bad. Ah, uh, yeah, Karmar, uh, I also know what, what what you feel. Okay, let's see, knight f5. Okay, it has to it has to be good. Usually, because you know, you, I told you that I like to take a pawn or two and keep material and defend all the game. So usually, I'm the side that is defending, 
and I lost that many games with, with very similar positions, right? So, <laughs> so I know that this kind of pawns, this kind of squares, it cannot be good. Okay, knight f5. <laughs> Hello, Rafał, nice to see you. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, king f8, but now take a look. Queen h6 is coming. You see, open king in the center in the middle game is uh, queen h6. You see too, too many threads, I think. Okay, and now this is important because I, I created a couple threads and things like this, but now it's a very, very important time for me to find... Uh, to find a good way to, to execute that, right? How can I... Right execution is very important. Okay, what should I do? I can capture b7, but... Okay, queen captures b7. Rook captures c5, knight captures c5. Queen captures f6. Uh, is there anything... I mean, it's, I think it's not bad, but I told you that I, I would rather be certain when I'm sac sacrificing something queen f6 okay rook probably goes to don't know g8 i capture at e5 with a check okay so it looks or maybe knight g7 okay what what else can i do because i think that this is a good good line to sacrifice uh bishop b7 and sacrifice at c5 i think that this is a good idea uh what else can i do here Maybe queen g7, and he's forced. I mean, queen g7 knight is hanging at e4. So maybe first bishop b7, then uh, queen captures b7, queen g7. Rook needs to go to f8, and what happens? I'm just thinking, can I do this, you know, smothered mate? Maybe somehow. <laughs> I did it once in my life, so. Mm, okay, but I do not see any, any option. Uh, and of course knight g7 but what's the what what happens after knight g7 uh queen goes to e7 probably nothing happens okay you see uh this is the second time that i've got a feeling so that that bishop b7 and rook c5 is good i will do that because i've got just two min i've got just only two minutes so i need to i need to be fast okay let me check the chat Yeah, Elior, it's a it's a good result. <laughs> no, you can, Bednarski David. If you want to, you can write in Polish. But this is English. Uh, this is English stream. But of course, if you write something in in Polish, I will try to answer, but in English. Yeah, M M M V X. I think that the, the 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 best tip is to analyze your own games because you can learn on your own mistakes, and I think that if you are analyzing them, you can improve very very fast. Hello, Itaripe. Nice to see you. Hello, Nicola Drummer. Uh, okay, I've got two. I've got two minutes. So okay, queen goes to f6. Let, let's see. I, I I really wonder. Is it a good? Okay, let's see. E5 is hanging. Uh, rook at h8 is hanging. So I'm not sure. Is it over? Because still there is rook f8. So yeah yeah but i think that 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 i can i mean i get a feeling that my position is better right i can capture that pawn i can play rook d6 i can play knight g7 too many threats and i can also capture with my bishop here or bishop goes here so you can see all my pieces are working very well ah okay and i've got a uh, small uh, announcement that from the next week I will at, at, I will also stream on Tuesdays not only Wednesdays at 8, 8 p.m. Polish time but also on Tuesdays same time like Wednesdays 
Ok, Rook F8. <coughs> Rook F8. Ok, what is, what is the best? Knight D6, I can take that uh, exchange back. Ok, another idea. Queen captures E5. Queen captures E5. What's the, what's the point? Knight E6. Knight D6. I, can, I, I see the way that I can be up a pawn. But maybe I've got something better. Yeah, but also better to think fast. Uh, knight g7 doesn't work because king goes to d7. Bishop h4. Okay, bishop h4 looks good to me, if I may be honest. Bishop h4. Is it the best move or not? Because what, what black is going to do after bishop h4, knight e6, knight g7. Yeah, okay, it's not so easy to decide too many possibilities. <laughs> yeah, but time is... Uh, okay, bishop h4, but I've got the feeling, right? Uh, clock is ticking, so I need to, I need to be fast. Yeah, 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 I will no longer stream at 6 a.m. <laughs> it's a little bit too early <laughs> to me. I think not only to me. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I know the reason, Karmar. <laughs> okay, bishop h4. And take a look, what can he do? Rook is hanging. e5 is hanging. Here is hanging. Knight d6 and knight g7 still a threat, okay. Knight e6. Uh, okay, what should I do? I cannot checkmate him, unfortunately. Okay, less than one minute. Okay, I need to play... I need to play... Uh, simple things. Yeah, because I've got just one minute. I know that there is that increment five seconds good that I've got this right, but I will not look for any possibilities to, to end it very, very fast, but yeah, I will just go into the better end game, right? With one or two pawns up. Yeah, just knight d6, my next move, knight d6. Yeah, almost is a <laughs> is a big difference, right? That he's almost made it. Not made it yet. Maybe he can play rook g8. Trying to counterplay. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it should be fine, but maybe it wasn't the, the best idea for me to, you know, in this case that I've got only one minute that I try to play bishop h4, maybe I should play capture at e5 and, you know, make it as, as simple as possible. Hello, kind of magic. Yeah, Grish took mode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, the only move that I'm a little bit scary is rook g8, because take a look. Check my thread. What should I play? After f3, queen captures f3. Uh, okay, I can play g3, but still queen goes to f3. Is it a good move? Oh no, queen b5. Okay, so g3. Uh, my answer after after rook g8 is, yeah, is, is g3. Because after queen goes to f3, queen b5. Rook d7, knight d6, checkmate. So I will try to do that. Okay, good that I prepared the answer. So I don't need to, I don't need to lose my time. I can play g3. And still, rook is hanging, knight d6 is hanging. Oh, 
Okay, queen d5. Queen d5 may be a good idea because he should try to trade pieces, right? Because he's defending, so. Okay, queen d5. Yeah, that may be that may be a good good option. I need to play queen f6. I don't I cannot trade. Or I can maybe trade and play knight e7 and take that exchange back. Yeah, so maybe this is this is what I'm going to do. As simple as I can. Ah, okay. Thanks, Kruci, Kruci for watching. Uh, bye. <laughs> bye. Okay. After queen f6, rook d7. I am not so. Probably it should be win, but I don't want to complicate that that much. I capture and play knight e7. And I think I've got an end game when I'm in which I'm up like a pawn or something. Should be should be enough. Yeah, by Kruzzi. Okay, rook g5. Okay, what is better to keep? My bishop or my knight? Of course, usually bishop is better with cooperation uh, with rook, but bishop is at h4, so h4 is not the perfect place. If I capture here, rook captures knight c6, and I can capture it before. Okay, so this is. Okay, and I'm gonna do an exception here. And knight goes to c6, attacking two pawns. He needs to he needs to defend it. After rook b5, I think I can play rook d2. The idea is I cannot capture because rook d5 pin. So rook goes to d2, and now I can capture because uh, because uh, after after pin I play I've got knight f3 or knight b3 and my rook is safe. Hello, Mary Jack. Nice to see you. I mean f4. Okay, f4. But I think that I can capture that pawn. So this is the, that's the thing that I should do firstly. Yeah, but I think that all of you will agree with me that that I should I should uh, end that attack that I had got right, because there was too many threats and I was maybe I was thinking too much. Maybe I should just play as simple as possible, because I was I was started you know to making you know most like Bishop H four or something like that. I think that that was kind of a mistake. Uh, I usually play 10 minutes, just 10 minutes, but the next one is commander in the in the queue or Quewe. Okay, Nicola, but, ju but just let me know what is your nickname. Okay, and take a look that right now my opponent's time is almost as equal to mine. So it's going to be a very fast endgame. Okay, so for that end game, I will concentrate more here, maybe on the on the position on the board. Can I capture or not? Better check twice, but I think I can do that. If knight captures, of course rook captures, and now I can move my knight probably to f3 or to maybe knight knight to b3. Looks better because I can always play knight c1 and defense that defense a to pawn. After moves like rook a6. Okay, knight c1. 
uh, in the end games there are two fork thread so king g2 in the end games there are two most important things pass pawn and king's activity i've got a pawn majority on the both sides so um, yeah i've got a pawn majority on the both sides so that's good right h4 okay uh, so I, I can create pass pawn but i need to also remember to make my king uh, to make my king active okay what should i do should i play b3 and trying to get that pawn okay let's do this plan the idea is rook defense a2 i can play knight d3 and i can make a pressure for that for that pawn at b4 okay rook c6 knight d3 hope i can do that rook d6 no rook b6 okay and now i need to bring my rook to c4 for example so maybe rook c2 and of course i'm up so trading uh, trading is good for me but if i can capture three pawn why not okay i can capture that pawn here and i've got three pawns up i've got two pass pawns so that's good okay and my opponent resigned i think that a uh, little bit little bit too early i know that three pawns is a big advantage but um, but i think that it's not the right time to uh, it's too early to resign you should try it uh, Okay, sorry, I cannot do two things in the one time. <laughs> uh, what I was saying, okay. Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, ah, okay, I know. Three pawns is of course a big advantage, but it's not It's not the thing that, that you should give up, right? You should give a chance for your opponent, give him an opportunity to make a mistake. So, uh, yeah, okay, just let me let me take a look at the... Uh, yeah, thank you, Hanging Pawns. Thank you very much for playing. Uh, <laughs> hope hope you enjoyed games and hope you could you 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 will learn something from from these games. This is this is this is why playing games and analyzing them that that games is so important. So uh, and hope you enjoyed this and thank you one more time for playing.